So there's all nine of them up on my turntable. Pretty cool shot. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out every single release up to date from Hot Wheels of the 1973 BMW 3-liter CSL race car. And I'm pretty sure there's only nine. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but from my research, uh, I'm getting nine. And we will start with the very first one, which when it was released, it was uh, white in 2014. And I will go from there. Okay, first up, the original release was dated 2014 on the pack. Uh, base is dated 2015, but the first release when this came out was the white with 68 on the door. Uh, this one was wheel swapped. Uh, I did that, just ignore that. Um, and some minor details are painted in by myself, but this is the very, very first one that I pretty sure is the first release from Hot Wheels back in 2014 in the mainline series. Wasn't that awesome though? Really, really cool car. Next up of the nine, they had released this one here, which I will open up. And this was released as a premium in the Forza Motorsport series. Uh, this is the only one I have this example, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up anyway. I think the back is dated 2017 on this one. Uh, now I'm thinking about, I think the black actually came out before this one, but we'll go ahead and open this one right now. But I'm pretty sure I think the black, black number 16 came out right before this one. That's okay. No big deal. So it's first, first time ever opening this. And this one appears to be kind of like a pearl white is what it looks like to me. Same wheels that they had used on the uh, 2016 Porsche 934 uh, Toy Fair. It's exact same wheels. This looks a lot better out of the pack. So I'm kind of glad I just ripped it out of there. I think you guys probably agree with me on that, but on that, it definitely looks, it looks better out of the pack, I think. And a lot of times I just don't have room to keep these in the packs and um, this is one vehicle, this is one casting that I do. I'm not a huge BMW fan, but this is one that I really love. So I, I want to have every variant there is of these cars. How awesome is that? Being the premium series, of course, it has the metal base. It is dated 2015. Let's bring in the first release. Uh, was dated... Yeah, 15 as well, but it's a white plastic base. I forgot to mention that earlier. Very cool. Some details on it. You know, and all you have to do is really do some detail like on the exhaust and some other places on it and you have a real winner. All right, next up was the black one. It was Mark 16. I was thinking it was released like a year after the original white one that's dated 68 on the doors or has numbered, I should say, I'm sorry, on the doors. This 16 came out, I believe, in 17 or I, I had to look on eBay. I forget now. But anyway, um, I guess it would have been 16. Base, of course, is black plastic and it is dated 15. Just like the white one, but it has the 16 on the door. So I guess it came out 16, model year 16 lineup, I should say. Very cool. And that one I did wheel swap as well and a couple minor details on it. But other than that, it's really basically the stock main line. But I think just adding the NASCAR wheels on some of them in the, the nascar tires i don't know i think it really really spices them up makes them lot, look a lot more racy and aggressive more realistic 
some quick easy mods to them all right we'll move on to the next release i could be wrong on this order uh the next two i'm just gonna say they're released at the same time uh, we have the walmart owned exclusive zamac at the top and castor oil black at the bottom and these are my only ones like this too i hate to open them but i'm gonna both packs are dated 15 on the back so i think these all came out also in 2016 going into 17. i hate to do it there's only one i have like that but i'm gonna open it open it for the video very cool though the castro one but then of course we have the zamac which i'm pretty sure depending on unless someone returned them to the stores i'm pretty sure these were walmart only awesome man this thing looks freaking awesome out of the pack they're gonna want to roll off of here i can see that already But I have them both on the turntable together since essentially they were both the same tampos and, you know, the same livery. Um, I just now noticed that the, I always thought the wheels were the same on, but they're definitely not the same wheels. But they came out the same time period. So we'll, we'll show those together. And then at the end here, I'll have all nine siblings together of these CSL race cars. Very cool though to see these out of the pack, especially the Zamac. And the black Castrol looks a lot better too. Both have black plastic bases. Both are dated 2015. Just like I'm pretty sure all of all these nine are going to have the same 2015 base. Even though it originally, uh, initially was released in 2014. Usually that date is always one year in advance from when Hot Wheels releases the casting initially. All right, so moving on. The Toy Fair completely, actually it was 2017, I'm sorry. 16 was the Porsche 934 RSR. Uh, year 2017 brought this one here, which was the, it's a beautiful blue Spectre Flame. I think it has a white base, plastic base though. I know it's blue. It's blue, uh, like an odd blue. Can't tell if that's plastic or metal. I think it's metal. Kind of like an odd blue uh, metal base. Very cool. Not a big fan of the wheel choice. But definitely nice though, nonetheless. And also one of my crown jewels of my collection. I'm just a big fan. I, I love the uh, Toy Fair cars. Like 95% of them I like. And uh, most of them are, are some of my favorites out of my, you know, my collection. I completely forgot about this one for 2016 going into 17. So there you go. There's that one. And then we'll put them all together here then. And then we come to year 2022. Uh, we had the red edition from, we'll do that next. On the bottom there, that's a Target exclusive. And then the uh, kind of like a mustard yellow. Yeah, it's very mustard yellow. The one on the top. And then the Super Treasure Hunt in the middle there. So we will we'll do the Target one first. This is another one, the only one I have like that that I'm going to crack open. Wow. This is another one, I think, that looks better out of the pack. I know it's strange to say that. Um, of course, day 2015, white plastic base. But I don't know why. I just think some of these just look so much better out of the pack. I'm sure you guys would agree with me. I'll try not to make this video more than 15 minutes. I know some of my videos go on a little too long. And it's really probably not necessary, but oh well. So there you go. That is the red edition from Target. Or if you had to do what I had to do, I had to go to eBay and get it 
because I I've only ever found a couple red editions ever at Target, and they were ones that nobody really wanted. Basically, hate to say that, but sort of true. All right, so so we would do the mustard yellow one next. And that's the basic main line from this year, 2022. And this one, usually nobody had troubles finding. I'm kind of seeing now it's thinning out. You don't really see this one a whole lot now. There for a while, I saw tons of them. Uh, it's not a very attractive color combination, I don't think. It's definitely mustard yellow because it's a hint of orange mixed in with the yellow paint. It's not super attractive in my opinion, but there we go. And it has 73 on the door, hence it's a 1973 CSL. But it's not bad. I gotta have it because I have all the other ones, so this is why I picked that up. And of course eBay for the super treasure hunt since I was never able to track one down locally or find one in the wild, of course, uh, super treasure hunts. So we will do that right now. We're gonna, we're gonna crack this one open. This is the only one I have like that. And heck with it. So there we got the the symbol on here, right there. I don't know why this doesn't say you found something special. I thought they all used to say that. That it says something like you found something special. Maybe that's only on the basic regular treasure hunts. It's kind of strange. I thought they all said that. This one doesn't have that though. Oh, this is beautiful. Gold Spectra Flame, red plastic base, and it's got the eight spoke wheels, black. I had to count in my head there, I thought they were eight or nine. Nine, they're eight sp spoke. Uh, light smoked glass, we got one nasty big scratch on the windshield right there, you can kind of see a nasty scratch. So that is the two from year 2022. And that's the Super Treasure Hunt and Gold Spectre Flame. Very cool. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. It's definitely cool to see these out of the pack. I mean, I have so much stuff in the packs that it's kind of like the older I'm getting now. I really don't care so much about my return on my investment. Um, yes, if it's something I buy to maybe possibly flip down the road, I'm concerned about the corners of the card or whatever. Uh, or if it's a certain one that I'm really, really, that I know it's sort of rare, um, but I don't know. The older I get, I really don't care anymore. I'll tear something open. doesn't really bother me that much. All right, that is all of them. That's all nine cars. I will back it up here and put on my plexiglass uh, stand, and I'll have the link down below that I got off Amazon. I thought these were pretty cool little shelves. I'll show you guys here in a minute. I think you might have seen them on another episode. I think I had them featured on one other or two other episodes briefly in the background. So I'll back up here and we'll stick them all together. Actually, let's put them all together on here first. Let's see how this goes. They're probably going to want to roll off, but we can try. So there's all nine of them up on my turntable. Pretty cool shot. And I'll show you my little plexiglass shelf that I got. I think it's pretty cool. And it wasn't a lot of money. I forget. Um, the link should be down below the video here. All right. So you can see here this little stand. You could fit 12 cars on it, three on each row. It's got four rungs. Uh, these are pretty nice little stands. I didn't pay that much for them. I think it comes up in a pair. Uh, I'll have to look again. I forget. It's been few months since I got them off uh, Amazon. I thought they're pretty nice. I tried to put the cars diagonally and the ones that didn't have rubber tires wanted to kind of roll off. So the, probably the best bet is just to keep them, keep them uh, like that, flat. I'm not sure what the dogs are barking at, but there we go. Pretty cool. But there you go, that's all nine of them, starting from the top left. I believe I have the releases in the correct order, possibly not. I don't know, it get, gets a little confusing. But there they are, nonetheless. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. If you're not a subscriber, please consider and hit the bell for notifications. 
and you can't be free. It's free to join. So I will see you guys soon. Sorry, it's been taking me a while to get to do some more Hot Wheels videos and diecast videos in general. But here we are. And I have a whole bunch in the queue. I just got to find the time to crank them out. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate your patience. Uh, I'm only like two people away from 11,000, by the way. So that would be awesome. I hit 11,000. That's kind of exciting. Exciting for me anyway. All right. See you guys soon. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All right. Bye now.